Heavenly Father, we bring before you all the people in our communities. Give them hope, Lord. May they know that you love them so deeply and that you care. Hello, Ian. Yeah. Hello, Diane. Hi, Ian. Yeah. What can we do for you today? I'd like to save some money, please. Yeah, lovely. Let's uh, take your passbook then. How much are you putting in today? Five pounds. Lovely. Okay, what are you, are you saving for anything special? Some presents for the family. Oh, brilliant. We've got a string of birthdays coming up. Aside from the worship of God, which we regularly do, of course, what we've done is opened up a community bank. So in addition to, uh, you know, worshipping God, we've got this credit union. And the great thing about this, it's, it's meeting the needs of this community. A lot of them come in and they say, look, you know, we're in debt, we need a loan or something of this kind. And we sit down and we say, right, what are your spending patterns? Uh, what is it that you owe? You know, how long has this been going on? And in most cases, what we've found is that what they really need is not another loan to get them into further debt but to open a savings account so that they can then take account of their lives and begin building some money so that they can have that after the loan has been paid. Really it's been quite incredible because we've met so many people from across the community. They've come in, yes they'll open an account, but it's not just a bank. We have an area where people can have tea or coffee, they can buy second-hand books, they can get to meet people, especially if you live on your own, that's quite important. We will help them if they need a food parcel, we can sort that out. If, if they need a crisis help we, we can help them um, contact the County Council and the Job Centre and quite often the first thing we do is book an appointment with them for the Citizens Advice Bureau on a Monday morning because they come here so you don't have to make a, an appointment in town you can come into the church just walk a few streets away and sit down in front of a professional who can start the process for you. Well, we've, early on we found out that uh, there was a problem with payday loan companies. One of the first persons that came in uh, asking for a loan, we found out that they already had a payday loan and they'd taken out a loan of £500. They'd made two payments on time against that loan and now they were already owing £886, which is quite nonsensical really uh, and unbelievable. And we have found over the period of time that we've been operating that many people come in for a loan and when we actually sit them down with a cup of tea and actually chat to them we find out that the last thing they really need is, is a loan because they're already in debt and they don't need any more. Um, and it's surprising actually how many people start talking about money but the problems won't be to do with their finance, it will be something else. We've, we have had several people come in and say to us, um, we need something where we can put our money that we can't touch it. None of the other banks can offer that service. One of the new things that we've introduced is the Christmas savings account, together with Kent Savers. This is our, this is our emblem here. <laughs> um, they have a passbook, just the same as they do for all of our other savings accounts, where people can deposit money as and when they're ready to, and they can't touch that until November. And that's proved quite popular with people who say, great, I can put some money in and I know that in November everything's going to be fine. We had a fat young family came in, their, their cooker had broken uh, and they needed to obviously to have that facility. And as a church, we do sometimes get things donated to us. They couldn't afford a new one. They couldn't get any grants to get a new one but we recently had a cooker donated to us by somebody and we were able to hand that over and send them on straight away with a cooker to keep them going, which was fantastic. I get more satisfaction out of doing two hours stint here in the bank and meeting these people and helping them than I ever did when I was in, in work. 